strong storms moved through. Now, if you wanted, you could have tracked them right along with us with the first alert weather app. Uh, Andrew was tracking it right here on WNDU, but you could also do it in the palm of your hand. With the first alert weather app. Now, I do want to first alert you to some uh, thunderstorms trying to kick up. Now, there's not as much energy in the atmosphere. All that was used up earlier this morning, but you may get a brief heavy downpour or two uh, between now and about 7 o'clock at night. When I zoom this map back out, I mainly want to focus on where the lightning strikes are located. That's where uh, the thunderstorms are uh, able uh, to get to that point. Uh, more thunderstorms. Severe weather threat uh, remains low for Michiana. There's a line uh, that a lot of these storms are just kind of training over a boundary, uh, just like a, a train goes over the same piece of railroad track. Uh, looking at some heavier downpours. Uh, be very careful if your travels tonight uh, take you to central Indiana. If you drive to Indianapolis 31, you're going to hit not only a wall of water, but it is going to be wet for a small stretch. As I've seen a number of of these cells work over the same area. This is also just the south of Fort Wayne. Uh, for us, I want to first alert you to the chance of uh, maybe an isolated thunderstorm between now and 9 p.m. Otherwise, a light shower can't be ruled out overnight tonight. Uh, the uh, greatest potential for severe weather that was this morning. That is why we first alerted you to that threat yesterday afternoon for this morning. Temperatures are going to be cooling back down in the 40s. As for future track, your first alert future track has uh, 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, mostly clear skies across the area as a lot of those showers to our south start to wrap up. May get uh, in this, these kind of conditions some light rain, but again, I'm not expecting an inch or two inch downpour uh, anytime this evening. There's Thursday at 9 p.m. Temperatures in the upper 50s and the lower 60s. And then as we get into about 11 o'clock tonight uh, for your Thursday, more of the mid 50s with that cloud cover in place. Taking you into your Friday. Now, not much to a, a first alert you to for your Friday, uh, but the weekend forecast is trending colder you know, between our Saturday and Sunday. Now, the wind is going to start to kick up on Saturday and then you know, we're going to come back down into the 40s for your Sunday. High temperature, lower 40s, upper 30s, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so two or three days with those cooler temperatures, if not cold temperatures, with the possibility of maybe some snow mixed in before we warm things back up. Now I do want to extend this out with your first alert 10 day forecast and show you what to expect for your Friday about 51 degrees, 57 on Saturday and then 40 degrees on Sunday. So again, uh, three things that we want to first alert you to. It's that second cold front on Saturday, uh, the chance of some snow on Monday. And the last thing I want to first alert you to a bit of a warming trend next Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We'll be right back.